No, I don't waste no time Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency and I also have my own education business where I teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to get your first client, how to build out your agency and scale it so that you can live life on your own terms. And in today's video, I want to briefly talk about uh, lead generation and how you can improve the quality of the leads that come through. So how to make sure that the leads that uh, you know opt in are actually qualified and you know obviously now because of everything that's going on in the world with uh, COVID-19 you know uh, a lot of the lead generation clients um, you know dependent on what kind of niche they are in um, will either drop off or uh, pause the contract which you know I understand but obviously for those that are continuing their contract you know you want to make sure that you get the best qualified leads for them as possible because you know obviously we're all uh, in the same boat you know we're all in this together uh, with everything you know, that's got to do with uh, the coronavirus uh, but without rambling on too much um, basically if you uh, run lead generation ads let me just see how this works I was playing around with this last time and I really did like the look of it so um, let's just do a square there we go so let's just say that is your lead ad remove that last one how do I remove undo there we go okay add some text so this is our lead ad on Facebook Facebook lead ad. And then basically what this will do is uh, if you click on it, so if the potential client clicks on it, they'll be brought to a, uh, basically within Facebook, a lead form. So again, I'll add, so lead form. And then within the lead form, you can ask them for their name, um, email address, uh, telephone number, and I don't know, you can maybe ask them like an extra question. So just say extra question. Okay, now the thing is with Facebook, because obviously Facebook want to make it as easy as possible for you to generate a lead. But with that said, all of these boxes will be automatically filled out. So chances are that if someone fills all this out and um, you know they click on the form and they uh, get brought to the, uh, just quickly add the pencil, there you go. So they click on the lead ad and they basically see this lead form. All this information will be automatically filled out for them. So all they need to do is click on the submit button, which will probably be here, uh, text, there we go, submit. So they'll click on the submit button because everything is automatically filled out for them. So they haven't had to put in a lot of effort to basically, you know, generate this uh, this lead form. So let's say the back of this, um, on the back end here, they've got some kind of uh, lead magnet. There we go. Look at that. Looks not like a magnet, but just bear with me here, guys. So they've seen the lead ads. It says, you know, click here to get a free lead magnet, free consultation, free PDF, whatever. They click on it, and then, you know, the basically the information is automatically filled out because Facebook want to make it easier for you. They click on the submit button, and then they've gotten, they've gotten the lead magnet. Now, they've had to put in minimum effort to actually generate this lead magnet, okay? So you've gotten their, um, their contact information, but they haven't had to work for it, which means that they might not necessarily be as qualified or as interested. Chances are they click on this and then they just go on about their day and you know start doing other things and they forget all about the fact that they've actually filled out this uh, this lead form, okay? So that you know, this lead is not necessarily a high quality lead because they've had to put no effort in whatsoever. So obviously um, with all of this, an easy way of uh, basically getting in a higher quality lead is by, let me just quickly add the lead ad here. So Facebook lead ad. And then we've also got the lead form. By the way guys, if you're enjoying like the sort of like mind map slash whiteboard videos, let me know and I'll create some more of them. And if you are enjoying this video, uh, please leave this video with a, a thumbs up because it really does help this channel grow. So, like I said, if you want a more qualified lead, you need to add questions that aren't automatically filled out. So name, email address, uh, telephone number will be automatically filled out. And then you need to ask them extra questions, as I already mentioned here, the one extra question, add more of them to make uh, them the, the lead put in more effort to 
get the lead magnet okay so we can add question number one question number two and then question number three okay now what this will mean is that your cost per lead will go up but the leads that do go through are uh, of very high quality and we all know those those gurus on the internet that say uh, stuff like yeah you know i'm getting uh cost per lead is let's say two dollars uh, for my lead gen, uh, for my lead gen client, for my real estate client, uh, you know, click here to find out or DM me for more information about how I'm getting the CPL so low. And I always think to myself, like, that is great, but how qualified are the leads? You know, so the CPL might be uh, two, which is great, but what is the ROI? Because that, at the end of the day, the ROI is what matters. And you know, you can, yeah, okay, sure, you know, you can generate a thousand leads for this client and or at two dollars a piece. But how many of those leads actually convert into real customers or actually end up buying what it, what it is that you actually want to offer? Okay, so obviously the CPL is a very important metric, but the most important metric is the return on investment for the client. Okay, so yes, with adding more questions on the lead form, the CPL will go up because more people need to, uh, people need to put in more effort to fill out the form, which means that people that aren't necessarily interested and aren't 100% qualified won't do it. So they'll see the name, the email address and telephone number automatically filled out and they'll see that they need to fill out an additional three questions and unless they really want that lead magnet or they're really interested in what it is that you are trying to offer, they won't fill it out. They'll think, you know what, can't be bothered, uh, I'm not that interested anyway, you know, uh, let me just leave that, okay? So what you've done there is you've basically added like hoops that the client needs to jump through, you know, hurdles that the client needs to jump over or the customer in this case, um, and that makes it harder for them to actually fill it out, harder to get the lead magnet, which means that those people that do actually fill this out will be of higher quality and are more likely to get you that return on investment, okay? Now, this is obviously all through uh, Facebook lead ads. Another way of doing it and a way that I highly recommend you guys do it is by um, not using a lead form at all, but using a landing page. So again, let me just make this a bit smaller. There we go. So we've got our Facebook ad. There we go, Facebook ad. Okay, then what you can do is you can run a conversion campaign so, clear page, no, don't clear page. Conversion campaign. And then the conversion campaign goes to a separate landing page. Now you can use ClickFunnels for this, you can use WordPress for this, lead forms, you know, whatever you wanna use, it doesn't really matter. The whole point is that we want them off of Facebook because we don't want them to have the ability to fill out that information automatically. So on the landing page, you'll have the same questions. For example, Q1, uh, so you have the name, email, phone, and then you've got your Q1, your Q2, and your Q3, okay? Now these won't be automatically filled out because it's not on Facebook anymore, so the landing page does not have that information, which means again, that they'll need to put in more efforts, they'll need to work more for it, because uh, again, it's not automatically filled out. And then let me just add the little magnet here again. There we go. So if they want that lead magnet, they need to put in more effort to get it. Okay, and again, this will increase your cost per lead, but the quality of the lead will go up as well. And lastly, what we can also do if we want to make it even further or even more qualified to people that you know opt in, uh, what we can do is um, let me just erase this arrow here. What you can do is not automatically give them the lead magnet, but add a thank you page to it. And on the thank you page, it will say two things. Your, um, I'll just call it lead magnet. So your, whatever you get. Your lead magnet is sent to your email, but before you leave, read about our business okay so the thank you page basically sa says to them you know okay thank you for signing up or thank you for opting in and um, all the information that you need will be sent to your email but before you leave read about the business okay 
This will make sure that they know more about the business, they have more information about the business, um, they know what it's about, what it stands for, etc. And again, this will qualify the lead more because again, they are, you know, they know more about it. The awareness is higher about you know the business that they've just opted in for the free lead magnet, and um, it's no longer just about the freebie. They've also learned something about the business. Okay, then what you do, so that lead magnet is then sent. What you then do is you add a email sequence to it. So, there we go. Email one. There we go. Is there a way to just copy this and duplicate it without making a new one? Um, whatever, right click, paste, no. Okay, never mind. Okay, so email one. And then you've got email two and you've got email three. Okay. And every single email here explains more about the company and about what you know you are offering as a actual service because obviously the lead magnet, you know, we're not in we're not in the market to be giving out free information. The whole point of doing that is obviously, you know, to nurture a cold audience, make them know make them know more about our business so that later down the line we can sell them actual products that provide value to them but also help us earn money uh, you know with it as well. Don't know where that email button oh, there we go email three there we go okay so rather than directly sending them the lead magnet as we did in uh example number one we've now got like an entire flow on qualifying and nurturing that cold lead into an actual customer and again yes you know they can drop off here they can drop off here they can not read the lead magnet they can unsubscribe to email you know to the emails so again there's a lot of drop off points here but the people that will actually go through this entire flow read all of the emails and eventually become a customer you know the chances of that happening is much higher than when you just automatically give out the lead magnets right away with that lead ad on Facebook, okay? So the cost per lead will go up, but the return investment should go up as well, okay? So I hope you got something out of this. I know this was quite a short video, but I just thought I'd give you guys some practical advice on uh, lead generation. For those of you that want to know more about this or you know want to start their own agency and start offering this as a service to both lead generation clients as well as e-commerce clients, I have my own coaching business. At the time of recording this, uh, the payment plan is uh, short, unfortunately. So if you do want to sign up for the coaching, I will uh, leave a link in the description box down below where you can basically schedule a free call with me and then we can basically see if we are a right fit for each other because uh, you know, I'm no longer taking on uh, a lot more students you know it is sort of a premium thing now and uh, i do want to you know be able to give the highest quality and the most amount of attention to you guys um as opposed to previously where it was just basically um you know anyone can join okay so with that said i hope you enjoyed this video hope you uh, got some out of it leave this video a thumbs up if you did and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more really does help this channel grow and you know basically shows me that uh, you guys are actually watching these videos and it's actually worth my time creating these videos but thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video